It's August 28th. It's probably about 8:30 in the morning. I'm getting ready to put this wonderful stuff on the outside of the of the uh, wall. I've got the seal on, as you can see. Uh, they're getting ready to bring some gravel here in the next few minutes, and hopefully, I'll get this tarred and some black plastic around it, and then um, I'll fill it up with gravel. Okay, so I got the uh, the tar on the outside of the block. I'm not going to put it on the foundation because the foundation is 16 inches thick and I don't figure tar is going to help that much if water's seeping through that. But uh, maybe wrong, but we'll see. I'll take my chances. Anyway, so this is where we're at. Uh, getting ready to put a, a small layer of gravel on the bottom, just maybe a couple inches, just to sort of set the pipe up off the clay and then I'll start laying those out and uh, cover them up okay so I've got the pipes in there I rough, roughed in the plumbing there um, and wiring that big uh, three inch line is just so that I have plenty of room to pull whatever wires or extra stuff I'll need later on who knows what technology will bring probably I'll go wireless but whatever Anyway, so <clears throat> I've also got this rebar that's kind of keeping the pipes at a, a good distance. I ran out, so I could have used one right there maybe, but I think it'll be fine. Anyway, so getting ready to cover all that up with gravel. Alright, so I've got the first layer of geothermal pipe underneath the gravel here. And... Uh, it's a little high over there. Probably have to spread that out, but I'm actually pretty beat. Had to move move it all around with a shovel, pretty much. And so uh, I'll put another layer in, and then uh, cover cover it with some more gravel. Probably going to have to have a little more. This was a 15 ton load, or 15 or 16 ton load, and I've probably already used two thirds of it. So I'm guessing I'll need another five to ten tons. But either way, it's moving along. <laughs> 